All right, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to time a sewing machine when it gets out of time. It happened to me the first time when the needle and the thread got jammed and the timing went out. And usually when the timing gets out is that when the needle comes down and it's supposed to pick up the thread underneath for the bobbin, it does not catch it. So what happens when you start sewing, it doesn't sew nothing. So one of the first things you have to do is Take the cover off, we're gonna remove the bobbin. There's two screws right there, we're gonna pull that plate off. And we're gonna remove all this right here, just so that you can see. So you can see right here, this sewing machine is out of time. You can see where the needle's been dragging down there. Right there, you don't want that to happen. You can bust your needle, and it's also not gonna work properly. Now to tighten the sewing machine, you gotta flip the machine on its side. Preferably while you're doing this, turn the power off. So in this sewing machine, you got two, four, five screws removed, and then remove this back panel. That's gonna snap something in there to get in there. And now what you're gonna see, there's a bar that goes across, and there's one set screw right there, and there's one set screw right there. I'm gonna turn the handle back, just so that you guys can see them. And you gotta loosen both of those off to set the timing. All right, now we're gonna time it. I want the needle to be coming up. I found you know you're close when tightening it up is in an awkward spot. But all you have to do is get one tight, and after you get one tight, you can flip it up and tighten the other one up pretty easy. I always leave the cover off while you're setting it up because you may have to go back and adjust it a little bit. Okay, I got the sewing machine at an angle. That's basically where you want it to sit right there as the needle's coming up. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to zoom in on there. focus but right about like that how you want it set as the needles coming up so you can see what happens you can see it grabs the string and then pulls it around and that's how it catches the string from the bobbin once everything's back and set up properly one of the things that's very important is you want to re-thread your machine because if you don't do that it's gonna look like this if you don't re-thread it one side will look normal but when you flip your sewing over it looks like a rat's nest because the tension is off Look underneath, looks good. Sewing machine is back in time. Now that you got your wife's or your girlfriend's sewing machine back in time, you may get lucky tonight. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.